All right, this is Gabe's video. And Gabe, we talked about chord fragments on the, uh, like the top three strings, one, two, and three, and or three, two, and one. And we talked about the D chord, since you already knew that. There's a D chord, and that is one of the three uh, shapes for triads. And there's three shapes. There's root position, which is, um, so say if we have a D, here's a D chord, there's the D string. If we go one, there's the D or the root, and then we go up four frets, one, two, three, four. There's the third, one, three, and then the fifth is up three more frets or three more half steps. You've heard that a million times, right? And that is the root position of uh, a, a chord. Tonic, third, fifth, and this happens to be a D chord. Same notes, but an octave higher than. And then we can also play that chord like this. We learned that, that this up four frets is that note. It can also, that note right there, can also be played one fret behind and one string up. There, that look right there. All right, or we play with these. And then we could play the next note, the fifth here, and have. I'm trying to get that finger out of the way. On the fifth, and third strings. Notice that that notice that a major third while it, while a major third looks like this, the minor third looks like so that note right there is up three frets. Can be played there. So we could play this chord like this on the fifth, fourth, and third strings. And I gave that piece of paper and it talked in terms of G. Okay, so that could be. Or. Or. And there's the third that they talked about. All right. And we're. It's the same as. And we talked about those different places where you could get the different notes on. Um, are the same notes. Different places you can get the same notes on, on, uh, on strings, on different strings. So in other words, that note right there can be got. That's an open G and the fifth fret of the fourth string. It's also the tenth fret of the fifth string, and it's also the third, the fifteenth fret of the sixth string. All of those are the same note. Let's go back to the chord fragments here. This one, the D one. And we talked about putting our little finger down here, We're getting what's called a sus, the D sus. And we can, in what ways we can finger a D chord? We can also finger it like this, that chord fragment like this, so that our little finger is free to play around up here. And when you use these chord fragments, try putting your fingers around the different places, uh, the fingers that you have floating around. Give this up. Um, the fingers that you have floating around. Which would be, um, like on this one, got the little finger floating around. Try putting it down. And then if you finger the D chord like this, the D, the D uh, shape, chord fragment, you can put this one down there on the first string, third fret, you can put down your third finger. You can also put your little finger down all the way, all the way up here to the fifth fret for a string and get that. shadow effect. All right. 
And then with the second position, we said, for there, there's the D shape. Now, counting our first finger on here, um, using our first finger, we, if we go up one, two, three, and we, three frets, and we put this shape on, which we're calling the A shape. And we might want to bar this first finger too here, so we can get like, and then we can use our little finger up here. But there's the A shape at the fifth fret. And, and then if we go up um, seven frets, no, five frets, I'm sorry, from there, we're at the fifth fret, so we're going to go up to the tenth. One, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to use that F shape, what we call, which is the first part of a bar chord. Or an F chord. So a three co string chord fragment is like that. So what now, what do we have these fingers kind of free here? So we can go. So kind of using that chord fragment, play with your other fingers and practice kind of putting them down in places that sound good to you and um, see if you can make up some of your own little riffs. And I can teach you some next time you come in if, uh, if you haven't discovered them already by the time you come back. And that's a lesson on chord fragments for Gabe. And um, that should do it for this time anyway. Practice hard. <laughs>